right, Dale, now we're going to talk about common vetch. Uh, common vetch, again, is, is in this vetch family, like uh, we talked about the woolly pod. It's a spring annual, uh, like woolly pod vetch. It is not as cold hardy as a woolly pod vetch for a spring annual, but it's still quite good. Uh, and this is going to be a much earlier blooming plant because, uh, as you can see, there's already pods set. So this vetch is already bloomed uh, and it's setting pods. Uh, common vetch is much more determinate. It, it blooms, it sets pods, it's done blooming. Uh, whereas woolly pod vetch and hairy vetch are very indeterminate. They'll bloom, they'll be setting pods, they'll just keep blooming for a long period of time. So in that in, for that regard, you know, those are great for pollinator type plots. This is better for seed production, and that's one of the reasons common vetch is the least expensive of all these vetches, because it's a better seed producer, because it's a very determinate plant. It's been bred for that. Uh, so probably not quite as growthy as the, as the woolly pod. Uh, again, part of that is because of its determinacy, uh, but still uh, a very good, a reasonably priced legume to put in a spring mix. Uh, Dale, you dug up a root there. Why don't you show us what you're seeing on that? Okay, um, what I'm seeing here, is the nodulation. Of course, one of the reasons we plant the vetches is for nitrogen production. And uh, you know, depending on when you plant, uh, that'll determine which of these legumes you want. Also, the price point, like you mentioned, you know, woolly pod vetch, hairy vetch, the seed's fairly pricey because they're just really difficult to harvest. You've got blooms and ripe seeds with shattering pods on the plant at the same time. There's just no, they're good seed producers. They're just impossible Hard to harvest to right. yeah. This is easy to harvest compared to the others. All the pods, they bloom, they ripen all about the same time. Good seed producer. Makes this a lot more economical in situations where where economy is really important. Yeah. I use this a lot for um, a fallow replacement product out in western Kansas, eastern Colorado, yeah. where, where people are very price sensitive because they've got limited moisture and uh, they don't want to spring a lot of money out there for a fallow replacement crop. But it does make a pretty good level of nitrogen. It does interlock and form a mat, maybe not as well as the woolly pod vetch, but it can do it at much less cost.